Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel Average Joe Watch Reviews where we do more than just reviews. Today we're going to be doing the unboxing of a Casio that costs less than $20 but looks like a G-Shock. Which one is it? Well, it is the Casio F108WH. What is that? Well, let's find out, shall we? Now you can find this watch on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link down below. It is the affiliate link. It actually, uh, I'm an affiliate of Amazon and it actually helps support the channel. You pay no more for the watch, but by you clicking the link, it actually helps to support the channel. So here it is. It's got the typical Casio uh, you know, branding. Um, and this is actually how you would see it displayed in the store. So you would actually have the price tag here. And this one has the LED stopwatch daily alarm and it's water resistant. And it's a good looking watch. It's got all the basic features as I just said there. And here's your alarm, there's your stopwatch. And that's how you set it. Okay. And then you got the typical 80s beep. And here's another thing that's retro of the 80s. You ready for this one? Check this out. There's your backlight. Now, this one's better than what I remember back in the 80s, because back in the 80s, I remember the light just hitting the edge so I could read the 7, and that's about it. So at least here, you're getting at least eh, half to 75% of the screen. And at night, this is going to light up pretty nicely. So not bad at all. Um, it does have a look of the G-Shock. So let's just take a look. So you're going to get the look of the G-Shock for, for much, much less, but, and it's a huge but, okay, this is going to have an actual crystal, a glass crystal on top, whereas this has a, uh, like a plastic acrylic crystal. So um, even if you press on this too hard, you're going to get some, some bleed on the LED screen, as you can see right there. You can see that, right? So... You know, this this isn't going to offer you a huge amount of protection as the G-Shock would. So this is definitely a tougher watch. Um, even with the case design, you can see that it's got a step up to protect the crystal where this one, it's, you can see it's flat. So you drop this watch, you've got a good good chance of, of, of possibly breaking it. Um, but it's still, I, I still think it's going to be a pretty durable watch for you. I mean... But it gives you all the, the features, the look, all for under $20. And uh, I want to try this on the wrist, guys. So let me take off the G-Shock. And let's put this on. Um, it's got the typical Casio feel to it. Um, nothing to write home about regarding these straps. I mean, they're just very basic. But um, for these Casios, they seem to last a lot of years. So, I mean, they may not feel luxurious or anything but they get the job done and they've they've definitely stood the test of time um right off the bat i could tell you this watch actually feels lighter and even more comfortable than the g-shock i just took off um, i'm surprised about that um it does have a really nice look to it and again i mean for the price guys i mean whew, I'm, I'm definitely uh, i'm definitely sold on this one uh i what, what can you say about it? I mean, my biggest drawback is the fact that it's not going to offer you the same G-Shock protection, but uh, why would it, right? I mean, you know, G-Shocks are a little bit more expensive because they offer you uh, that protection. So they're definitely a little bit more durable and you can, you know, they have more water resistance. This one, this G-Shock's at 20 bar. This one um, doesn't even state it on the uh, the dial. Uh, usually when they don't state it anywhere, let's see if it states anywhere else. It just says water resistant. It's pretty much like uh, good luck. You know, it says water resist on it, but it doesn't give you um, any type of depth. So this one's solar. This one's purely quartz. Uh, the G-Shock um, also has the... Um, the bandwidth, the multi-bandwidth. So um, several times during the day, this watch actually keeps perfect time. So this watch will lose absolutely no time whatsoever 
um, throughout the year, whereas this is a typical quartz. So, I mean, there's your there's some of your differences there. But, guys, for under 20 bucks, I mean, really, I mean, you're getting the G-Shock look um, for not G-Shock money. And this watch should, should last you for years, even if you are, like, gardening, mowing the lawn, doing stuff around the house. As long as you're not beating the hell out of it like people do with G-Shocks, you know, doing extreme sports and whatnot, um, you know, having your wrist crash on the ground and um, doing all kinds of just stupid nonsense. I mean, if you're going to treat this watch like you do your other watches, this one's going to last you multiple, multiple amount of years. You could probably even pass this one down. Very, very comfortable watch, guys. Um, so I would definitely recommend this one. And again, please click down below for the affiliate link. Um, I actually have this one in my Amazon store. And again, I just get a small commission that helps the channel. But again, you pay no more for the watch. So um, thank you so much for your support. And always remember that there's always time to be kind to one another. Before I let you guys go, I'm gonna do a real quick measurement for you so that you can kind of get an idea as to how big the watch is. And we're gonna measure it from protectant to protectant. And that is a 41. And again, this is like a square watch, so it's gonna have kind of weird proportions here. Um, I'm gonna go basically not where the lugs are, but just to the edge of the case. And that also is a, that's a 40. So this, this does wear basically like a 40 millimeter, um, for maybe a 41, depending. Um, anywhere, anywhere from a 40 to 41, let's just put it that way. Uh, this here is a 10 millimeter in case thickness. Um, and this one is sporting. So you can see it's got, you can see how this is integrated like that, but yet the lug width is actually thinner. So um, this is definitely not a strap monster, okay? But your um, your lug width is a 18 millimeter. So um, these pretty much stay on Casio straps. I mean, you can put these on other straps, but just remember that you're not gonna have that taper on the outside. This is where the lugs are. So if you do put any kind of strap on, it's gonna, fit differently and look differently um it's gonna make it's gonna, it's gonna make the watch look bigger on your wrist let's just put it that way i can guarantee you that so guys thank you very much for joining me and remember that there is always time to be kind to one another please take care of each other and i'll see you guys next time on average Joe watch reviews god bless my friends yeah.